Yo, what's going on everyone? Freakadoo99 here, and in this video I'll be breaking down my endgame arc titan build that utilizes the glorious sweet business and actium war raid combo for a really fun build. With sweet business now firing explosive bullets often, it means its damage is now worthy of being used in Grandmaster Nightfalls, and I've used this build to complete every single one so far, and it has been a blast to always be on top of the leaderboards while using this chain gunner build. Of course there is a dim link in the description and a picture at the end of the video for easy reference as well. Without further ado, let's jump into the build. Starting off with the subclass, we have the amazing Thunder Crash for some insane instant damage. Using this super to panic clear a group of adds or melt a champion is always a good idea, but be careful as it can sometimes leave you out in the open. We also have the artifact perk Thunderous Retort, increasing the damage by 30% while amplified or at critical health, so be sure it's active before using. Next we're using Rally Barricade for our class ability as it has some really good bonuses for our weapons and it gives a plus 30 to stability, 100 reload speed, 0.9 times reload duration multiplier, 10% increased damage fall off, and 50% flinch resistance. While casting the barricade we also have 20% damage resistance and the barricade itself will last for 20 seconds. With this build, we're prioritizing resistance, which at tier 10 will give it a 22 second cooldown, meaning we can effectively have permanent uptime on it. Sweet Business benefits greatly from the rally buff, so make sure you're always using it, as well as we have Bomber, so we get 12% grenade energy on cast. For our melee, we're using Thunderclap for its ability to insta cast and its good range. Titan Arc Melee suffers from not enough damage in endgame content, so we use our Thunderclap to trigger impact induction for the 20% grenade energy on hit. We can get quick casts on minor foes as well for an easy amplify and health regen, but getting close in Grand Masters can be difficult so be wary. For our grenade, we're rocking Pulse for the sweet sweet damage. We have many things that boost the effectiveness of the Pulse Grenade, and we end up using it a lot whenever we can. It helps a lot in taking down champions and clearing out adds and mini bosses, so be sure to use it and spam it as much as possible. Moving to our first aspect, we have Touch of Thunder, which will enhance our Pulse Grenades by making it so it damaging an enemy will create an Ionic Trace with a 1 second cooldown, and will increase in damage over time. Ionic Traces are energy seekers that home in on you and grant 12.5 grenade and melee energy and 15% class ability energy, so generating them is really beneficial. For our second aspect, we have Knockout, so on melee takedown, health regen begins and grants Amplified. Upon breaking an enemy shield or dealing damage to an enemy below 30% HP, it grants 100% increased basic melee damage, 25% charged melee damage, increased melee lunge range to 5.5 meters, and basic melee attacks now count as an arced powered melee hit for 6 seconds. Now while melee isn't the best in some cases, it will save your life in others, so if you're ever low on health, remember that you can thunderclap or melee an enemy to save yourself and kickstart that health regen. Moving on to the fragments, we have our first fragment, Spark of Discharge, which makes arc weapon final blows generate ionic traces by filling up a progress counter to 100%, rank and file give 34%, elites give 67%, and mini bosses and bosses give 100%. Next, Spark of Shock makes our pulse grenades apply jolt upon dealing damage. Next, Spark of Magnitude makes our pulse grenades last for an extra 2 pulses, resulting in a total of 8 pulses. And finally, Spark of Resistance, which gives 25% damage resist while surrounded by 3 or more enemies within 15 meters, and this lingers for 2 seconds. And that does it for the subclass, and moving on to the weapons. Of course, our main weapon of choice is the exotic auto rifle Sweet Business. This minigun auto rifle has a massive magazine, and on special or heavy ammo pickup, it fully refills it. Holding down the trigger spins the weapon up, increasing from 360 rounds per minute to 900 RPM over 13 shots, which will take about 1.38 seconds. While firing, an explosive round will fire every 18 shots and does not suffer damage falloff. This is reduced to every 8 shots while fully spun up. 
And finally, the catalyst grants 25% flint resistance while fully spun up. For our energy weapon, we're using anti-champion weapons as we're in endgame content, so unstoppable glaives and overload trace rifles are strong. Personally, I've been using Nezrex Whisper and Path of Least Resistance as they are both arc weapons that are strong. Glaives can give you unbelievable defense and trace rifles can help you pick off some enemies. And then for our heavy weapon, we run whatever heavy machine gun we want as long as we have some decent range on it. I've been using Terminus Horizons from Spire of the Watcher Dungeon as it's an arc and can put in work taking down champions and bosses as well as clearing out ads. Now while these weapons will work on for a majority of endgame content, in some cases you'll have overload and unstoppable champions and won't need for sweet business for anti-barrier. In this case, switch to a scout rifle for your kinetic so you can run overload rounds, then run a glaive for unstoppable, and then for your exonic, swap out to Thunderlord as it has intrinsic overload rounds and deals a lot of damage. This setup can get you through different pieces of content quite easily as well. Now that we're done with weapons, let's move on to the artifacts, starting with anti-barrier auto rifle, overload trace rifle, and unstoppable glaives. These also give overcharge, so they give a 25% damage increase in overcharge activities, but in some cases switch out the auto rifle for overload scout on different content. Next, we have authorized mods arc and melee, so we can easily afford those mods. And then we have deeper origins, so weapons from Season of the Deep and Defiance, Neomuna, and Root of Nightmares get enhanced origin traits. They also get a 25% damage buff in overcharge activities thanks to overcharged armory. And then we also have Amped Up, so it increases the amplified duration to 20 seconds. Thunderous Retort increases arc super damage by 30% while amplified or critical health. Electric Armor gives 30% damage resist while amplified. Lightning Strikes Twice gives 130% additional grenade base recharge rate for 5 seconds after throwing a grenade. Arc Final Blows increase buff duration by 3 seconds up to a maximum of 20 seconds. And finally Shock and Awe, so while amplified, Arc Final Blows summon bursts of lightning and deal damage and jolt enemies. And this has a 5 second cooldown. And that does it for the artifact perks, moving on to the armor mods. Starting with our helmet, we have Arc Siphon and Kinetic Siphon, so all our weapon final blows will generate orbs of power. This occurs every two final blows. We also have Ashes to Assets, so grenade final blows generate super energy. For stat focusing, we want Resilience for the 30% damage resist and 22 second class ability cooldown. Next, we want Discipline for lower grenade cooldowns. And finally, Recovery for better health regeneration. Moving to the gauntlets, we have firepower, so grenade final blows generate orbs of power with a 1 second cooldown. We also have bolstering detonation, so we get 20% class ability energy on grenade hit. And we also have impact induction for 20% grenade energy on charged melee hit. Both of these have a 7 second cooldown. Moving to the chest piece, we have our exotic piece, the Actium War Rig. Its intrinsic perk is Auto Loading Link, which passively gives plus 30 airborne effectiveness to auto rifles and machine guns, and while readied, they refill 10% of their magazine every 1.5 seconds. Paired with Sweet Business, and you can fire forever at everything while never letting go of the trigger. This will also work wonders with whatever machine gun you run in your heavy, including Thunderlord, meaning you can pump out some crazy damage. For mods, we run two elemental resistance mods that match the activity's threat modifier for a 25% damage resistance against it, and then we run a different resistance mod for a 15% damage resist, which usually is a concussive dampener. Moving down to the legs, we have two kinetic weapon surges, so while we have an armor charge, it decays and we get a 17% damage increase to our sweet business. If we're using the Thunderlord loadout, then switch this to an arc weapon surge. We also have recuperation, so on orb of power pickup, we get bursts of health. And finally for the mark, we have time dilation, so our armor charges decay at 15 seconds instead of 10. We also have font of restoration for a plus 30 in recovery while we have an armor charge. And finally, bomber for 12% grenade energy on class ability use. And that does it for the build. Let's finish up with how to use it. Since this is a chain gunner build, it means we always stay back and fire away. 
always use your barricade on your main sight line for its bonuses and then sit back and shred through everything. Always be sure you're lobbing grenades and if anything gets close use your thunderclap. When more major and elite enemies start to show up, switch to your heavy weapon to help take them down quicker and give yourself more space. In most cases though sweet business will clean up everything. With this build you can hard carry your team as you have enough firepower for 3 people and it'll show. Actium War Rig lets us fire forever so we don't have to be worried about getting caught mid reload at all. Overload champions are easy to take down as our grenade applies jolt which stuns them and then if we run Thunderlord we can stun them in a single shot and shred them down. Barriers go down real easy as well with sweet business, and then unstoppables can be a bit of a pain but if you have a glaive you can tank their hits and stun them as well. This build was a ton of fun running through Grandmaster Nightfalls, and it has proved to be one of the strongest builds you can be using to shred health bars faster than anything. Of course if you need a picture of it, it is on screen, as well as there is a dim link in the description. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like and a comment. If you like watching my content, then consider subscribing as it helps out a ton. Thank you all so much for watching, I've been FreakyDude99, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out everyone.